Hey guys, Brad coming at you again here with a few things. First off, I already opened this because I didn't realize I didn't pay enough attention to the package. This is from MD Pit 21. I just thought it was a group break thing. So I ripped it open and I was like, oh, what is it? Oh, this is from MD Pit 21. So Mike, appreciate it, man. It says, thanks for making the deal. Here are a couple that need a home. And it says the second card is a TTM. I got two of. He played for the Dolphins for a bit. He sure did, and I didn't have his autograph. So the first card of this disappointment, Deion Jordan. Wish he'd get his crap together. But nice arm card auto from Five Star. Can't go wrong with Five Star. And this one I was really pumped to get because I don't have an autograph of this guy. I don't even think I have a card of this guy. He was uh, also played for the Colts two in his early years, and then went to the Dolphins. He won a couple Super Bowls with him. Part of the no-name D, Nick Bonacani. Nice autograph. That shows up pretty well there. I was like, it might look way better in person, but that shows up pretty well. And he's got a sick autograph. And he said, he don't have much stuff, so I never had an autograph of this guy. So, that's pretty sweet little Nick Bonacani action. So, Mike, appreciate that, buddy. That'll fit real nice in the collection. And then next up, I did a player random for Flawless Basketball. Like a case player random. It's only like 15 bucks. So if you can get into Flawless for 15 bucks, it might be worth it then, right? And I drew Dominique Wilkins and hit a card. Number 3 out of 10, Retired Numbers. Gold. On card autograph, of course. The human highlight reel, Dominique Wilkins. So, shame. He kind of, he's actually underappreciated. He got kind of lost in the late 80s with Magic, Bird, Jordan, the Pistons. His teams kind of got lost. They were actually pretty good. They just weren't good enough to be, you know, Boston, Detroit, and Chicago in the East, but Dominique, great player, did more than just dunk, by the way, everyone just knows him for the dunking, but he was actually a very good player, Dominique, bam, so it's pretty, it was pretty sweet for 15 bucks, and then, um, I always, I joined a couple for Ferv Breaks, mainly just because I always do well in it. Over the past few years, in 12-13, I hit like an eight-patch booklet, eight-way patch booklet. Last year, if you guys remember, I hit the Giannis Prime Silhouette, which that was like a $500 card, so that was awesome. So I was like, nah, I'll try a little bit this year and see what happens. So I got the Magic. I did go Hitler's with the Blazers that I got in Raz. I went Hitler's with the Blazers. And I also did a $6 player random and hit a Blake Griffin, which hasn't came in yet. But for $6, I hit a Blake Griffin and a player random. But anyways, here's my magic. Got the guy I was looking for. Had a very good rookie season. And you might not know he had a good rookie season because he didn't get a lot of pub, like, nationally. But he was actually, what, probably second best rookie, honestly behind Wiggins. He was probably the second best rookie. Alfred Payton. Jumbo Napkin. Now see, here's my idea. You know, number one, we don't need a book in every box, okay? But let's just take this and make this a card. You can put a patch in there. Doesn't that look way better than this? I think it does. Like, that's actually a good design. That actually looks sweet. Put a little patch in there. Just make it a single card. I don't need this extra space. That's just my two cents. What do you guys think? I think just that. Put a little patch in there. Bam. That card will blast. That's my opinion. I hate jersey booklets, though. What's the point? But that was jersey booklet. And then I hit this. Unfortunately, not patch version, but still nice. Number to 99. The jersey silhouette of Alfred Payton but still a good hit. And I got a stripe. But Alfred Payton. Not a whole lot to the auto, but, you know. Like I said, he had a really good rookie season, actually. So, 
that was nice. And then last but not least, this card actually just sold like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but he hadn't paid for it yet, so I'll show it off. And I sold this for like 52 bucks, I think. 51.99. It's the Red Wave from Bowman. I'm not a huge fan of Bowman. You know, not in their unis. This, they had like 86 autos on the checklist this year, which is about 25 too many. <laughs> a lot of just, ugh, guys in it. Um, and what was weird about this year's Bowman, we know high-end products have switched to Feast or Famine. You know, you make a couple thousand out of the box or get like 500 out of it, you know. But they did that with Bowman now, too. They're starting to do that with lower-end products. Like Bowman, dude. I've probably seen, like, recaps of, like, ten cases. Three were, like, super amazing. We're talking, you get Mariota, Winstons, Coopers, Parkers, all this in one case. Then the other seven, you just want to shoot yourself. So I don't know. It's weird. It's like they've switched even to lower-end products making a feast or famine. But nice red wave. Indianapolis Colt. What up, Brian Curtis? 10 of 25. Like I said, I just can't do the airbrush thing. Like, this is actually a very nice looking card. On card auto. Beautiful card. He actually has a decent autograph. Look at that. Not bad. Pull up door set. I have a feeling for the first year with the Colts, he'll be one of those guys who won't show up for three or four weeks and then have like two or three touchdowns one week. I think he's going to be one of those guys. Where he has like four good games all year and then doesn't show up the rest of the 12. But he's got speed. And you put him with a top flight quarterback. You never know. But just because I don't like these cards, I didn't hang on to it. Just because I don't like Bowman very much. But yeah, this actually is a nice card. The Wedway Raids are nice. So if this airbrush thing doesn't bother you. Highly recommend it. Number 25, Philip Dorsett. What up? But, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Hope you all have a good week. I don't know if I'll be making another video. I probably won't make a vid just for the Blake Griffin, probably. But I have a Blake Griffin now coming in. And, and that's about it. I think so. So, bye-bye now. And all have a great week.